What's it like to be back in Edmonton? Looking toward seeing these fellows um, because we did have a family. It was a, a family experience that, believe it or not, leaves me a little bit emotional even now. Um, it's amazing how close we became um, that we all truly believed, including me, that there was no question we were going to win Stanley Cups. And that's all we thought about. That's all we talked about. So bringing all that back by being here uh, is pretty exciting to me. I was surprised that they brought up this 25th anniversary of trading Wayne. My God, the town went crazy. So obviously we all made a difference. Um, but I had no choice uh, about trading Wayne, as you've seen in the book. Um, his contract was coming to fruition. We certainly couldn't have uh, paid what he, his market would have commanded at that time. Um, at that time, I think we were paying uh, American dollars for contracts and costing us $1.40, $1.50 uh, when we had to pay these contracts. So. That's what forced it all, and then the, the spew of hate that came out f uh, for doing something as a businessman I had, I had to do, uh, and said to Wayne, in fact, on the uh, stage that day at Molson House, I said, Wayne, if you want to change your mind, sign a new contract and we can, get out of, we can save all this. No, 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 I've made up my mind, I'm, I've decided we're going to carry through, and it was good for the league, it was good for Wayne and Janet. Uh, quite frankly, it was even good for Edmonton. Uh, I mean, we had the, the greatest and best years uh, from Wayne, in my opinion. And whenever you have, uh, and I hate to say this, a depreciating asset, there's only one time to get rid of the depreciating asset, and that's at its peak. And maybe that's being a little cold-blooded, but it was reality. It's in the way or just how things are between you? No, the trade never gets in the way. In fact, as you know, he wrote the foreword to the book that was written three or four years ago. Um, after Wayne got involved in management, he understood where all of us were coming from on the other side of the bench. And um, he's a smart guy and he understood. We're still pals. And it's like we never parted. It was had coffee with him this morning and we were both delighted to see one another. Uh, I feel the same way about every, every player uh, on the team, every person that was associated with the team, in fact. Uh, Glenn and I are still good friends. We uh, golf, et cetera, et cetera. So it's, um, it was a building of a family that it, that family, I don't think, will ever be torn apart. Are you worried about the reaction at all that you'll get here? No. Uh, I've. As I told the, the guys an old Shakespearean line, uh, a brave man dies once, a coward die, dies every day. And I don't really give a, a damn what <laughs> some of the unwashed have to say. S someday they'll grow up. You think? <laughs> well, I, and I, I don't really care if they do or not, yeah. obviously. But what are your memories when you come Memories are all good. I, I don't dwell on something that isn't. There's no point. Um, I live from now on, I, I live in the now, I don't worry about the past, it doesn't concern me. I certainly remember some of the great moments from the first Stanley Cup, obviously. The excitement that, and I've seen some of these players this morning, they are excited to be here. This is big. This is, uh, this goes beyond, I, I'm, I'm shocked that these fellows had the uh, foresight and the uh, imagination to put this on, as the Patrick pointed out, has never been done, and this shocks me, uh, especially in, uh, in in the sports world, because there have been some fantastic stories in the past, but this one I think is, is certainly rates up there at the top. Uh, Pete, I just wanted to ask you about the arena project, this city, uh, the new building being put in, the idea to revitalize downtown. Um, I mean. Maybe nostalgic in that it's not going to be in Rexall anymore, but what do you think of this idea? It's not like? nostalgic at all. <laughs> I think Northlands was a piece of crap, um, quite frankly. This is very exciting. The imagination that uh, uh, Daryl and Patrick and his people have put into this thing is incredible. This city needed a, a boost. 
this city uh, will, uh, I notice there's holes where they're building apartment buildings and they're going to revitalize the whole place because of this. It should have been done early, early, early. Unfortunately, they had a group of uh, old men called Northlands uh, who wanted their nose in everything and all they did was destroy. And this bunch has made it happen. I wished I could have made it happen. I tried, but this is truly exciting. And uh, hats off to to Daryl and his people. This is incredible. Uh, just to follow up on the arena, like I mean, Lord knows you tried to get a new. Arena. No question. What was the difference? What do you, why do you think? Was it is it timing? Or? Well, it, of course it's timing. It, it's also three percent cost of money. Uh, people forget that. Uh, in the old days, it was twelve and a half percent. I mean, you couldn't move. <laughs> you couldn't move anything at twelve and a half percent. At two and a half, three percent, it's amazing what can be done. And uh, politicians look at it a little differently when it doesn't strap their budget forever. But from Daryl's point of view, it was a, a magnificent business deal. Right. And I wish to heck I could have done it. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little jealous. <laughs>